Okay, so what I've done here is I've placed some body copy here and I've divided it over four columns. So why did I choose four columns? Well, when you're working with images and text and you want to have, um, maybe you want an image to be, uh, to take up the space of half the text and you can't do that with an odd number. So you can only do that with even numbers. So uh, that's a good tip. And uh, in this uh, stage, I'm not even going to bother with uh, the grid yet. What I've done is I've set up my body copy and uh, you're going to have to play around with this until you find something that just feels good in terms of the font size, the column width, the letting, and you print it out and you look at it and you read it. And once you got that down, you move on to the other parts. But because the body copy is actually the main text, it's uh, good to start with that, in my opinion. So in this process here, I've decided that I would like to add a combination for three columns as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And the settings for this is um, just something that you have to pick that feels good with the spacing between the columns. In this case, it's 2.5 millimeters over four columns here. So I'm going to change it to three columns here. Because we have wider columns here, I'm going to see if multiplying this with two is going to feel okay because we still have to consider that we are going to have a document grid in the end and we need to base the, uh, the spacings around that, uh, that grid. So let's pretend that this feels all right and I print it out and everything and uh, I think that we could start sketching with a, on a layout here. So um, let's do that. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a new document and start grid calculator. I'm just gonna select create new document here. Let's head over to the initial document here and check out the uh, document size. Two hundred fifteen by two hundred eighty millimeters. And uh, let's go back to this uh, initial document again and open our body copy and look at the letting. It's twelve points here. So let's see if I can find a combination for twelve points. Well, I found something that was very, very close. Now let's say that I really want to have 12 points for my uh, letting or baseline grid. I could uncheck this and uh, it will give me exactly 12 points. So uh, the next step is to find, uh, to actually look at the um, the gutter value here because this is going to guide us on what value we need to set for our uh, document uh, or the grid width. So if we can find something around 2.5 millimeters, that would be great. So let's see that. I'm going to use the grid width feature here. Press calculate. And uh, I actually happen to find 2.5. Um, so that's awesome. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to copy this text here and paste it in here. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to edit the text frame a bit here to make it fit. We have a perfect fit here. I just have to move it in place. So that's how easy it was to work from that sketch into a real document with a grid. 
So let's see if we can take our other text frame here. Actually, I can just copy this. And set to three here, five millimeters there. Now, this didn't fit, so what are we gonna do about this? Well, we can either play with the width here, Okay, we got a fit here, and let's see if we can align this as well. Yeah, I was lucky and it actually fit. Now, otherwise you're going to have to do some other editing to make sure that everything fits. You might have to work with a smaller gutter here or maybe a larger gutter here. You're gonna have to play around until it fits. So let's go to margins here. So we set our inside margin and let's set our outside margin as well. I would actually like to have a little more spacing on the outside. So I'm going to move all of this slightly to the inner margin. Reduce here, increase here. And uh, let's see what we can find for type of combination here. So let's say that we would like to have three columns as our main column. And then I would like to have sub columns. Actually, sub columns is not the correct choice here. We are going to go to secondary here and we're going to look at secondary columns. We're going to look at four columns here. Now here we got a little problem. It doesn't really fit. So I just missed that. Let me show you um, here. So it doesn't fit here. So what can we do? Because in the end, it's all about making it look good and being readable and so on. And that's why we have custom setup here. So I can go to secondary here. I could enter four. I could just enter 2.5 millimeters and it would actually be gridded according to that, even if we break the grid. Now, personally, I don't think it's uh, the end of the world if it doesn't fit perfectly, because in the end, uh, it, it's all about making, making it look good and being readable and all of that.